What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fully restore your iPhone without updating it with using Succession. So basically this application allows you to do a full restore on the iPhone and it does not force you to update to the newest versions of iOS. Now this could be super useful for those of you that just want to fully restore your iPhone and start from scratch, be on a fresh jailbreak, no tweaks, no themes, no leftover weird files, no junk mixed in your file system, uh, just fully wipe it clean. Another thing that this is very useful for is if you are on a jailbreakable version, obviously, but if you want to keep your iPhone on that version and you want to sell it because this will allow you to fully restore it. Uh, just take note that before you do that, if you're planning on selling your iPhone, uh, to go into settings and just make sure you sign out of your iCloud account. Otherwise, when Succession restores it, it will be iCloud locked. So if you're looking to sell it, just make sure you sign out of your iCloud account. And just a little reference here, a general and about, we are on my iPhone 10 that is currently on uh, 14.6. Now, as of the recording of this video, only iOS 14.7.1 is being signed. Let me go ahead and look this up here. Uh, so IPS W, let's just do that. And I'm just gonna hop in here to just show you guys that 14.7.1 is the only signed version. So I'm on the iPhone uh, 10 GSM. And as you can see here, once it loads, 14.7.1 is the only signed version. Everything else is in red. So if you were to restore your iPhone with Finder or iTunes on your computer, you would basically be forced into updating to 14.7.1. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna use Succession and restore it on an older version without updating. So what you're gonna wanna do is install Succession. There's actually uh, two repos here. I had the first one and I couldn't figure it out, but it is the second repo, which is the unstable repo. I will leave the repo listed in the description so you guys can easily add it um, to your repos and download Succession. So all you gotta do is go ahead and download the application and here it is. Now this is a pretty cool application. I do wanna mention that uh, technically this isn't really being worked on anymore. It's on beta four uh, and it seems to work perfectly fine for me on iOS 14 but just remember to use at your own risk. And of course, before you do this, make sure that you have a backup created of all the stuff you don't wanna lose, like photos or messages and stuff like that. I like to just use iCloud Drive for all my stuff like that. I'll hop in here, I'll show you guys. Um, so you just go into iCloud and I have uh, basically everything backed up that I want just right here. As you can see, I have everything turned on. So that's basically everything I need to save so I don't have anything. But uh, another thing to take note on is make sure that when you create a backup, you don't have jailbreak applications in the backup because I'm pretty sure those will still persist when you um, restore it from a backup. So just watch out for that. But uh, this is on a test device, so I'm gonna be simple about it. Now, as you can see at the bottom, there is some settings here. There's some cool settings that you can play around with. Uh, if you guys don't know what these are, then you probably don't need to know, but you have a test mode, you can only restore system data. So that's similar to the restore root file system that's found in jailbreak utilities. You can log the output to a log. You have the ability to create a APFS snapshot um, for both um, succession and for use with like snappy and stuff like that. You can use a custom rsync path. You can use a custom IPSW uh, path you can reset all the settings and then I am on succession version 1.4.16 beta 4 as you guys can see. Now I'm not going to adjust any of the settings. If you guys know what that stuff is, feel free to play around with it. But if you're looking to just restore it, uh, as you can see, my button says prepare for restore. Now when you do this for the first time, it's going to prompt you to download the fresh IPSW um, just go ahead and do that. I've already done it. It does take like five to 10 minutes because the IPSW is pretty large. They're all right around five gigabytes. So I've already done that. So just install the IPSW. Like I said, your button will change from download to prepare for restore like mine is in red. So now all I gotta do is click the red button there. And as you can see, you are getting a big warning here at the top. 
So just make sure you read this stuff. I'm gonna click on erase iPhone and begin restore. And now as you can see, it's doing like a really kind of cool verbose kind of mode where it's showing you the files as it basically restores it, which I think looks awesome. So this part does take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it. And as soon as it's done restoring, I will be back. And there we go, it says hello, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe in here. I'm gonna choose English, United States. I'm pretty sure this will freeze now on OBS, yes. So I don't have to worry about you guys seeing any credentials here. So we'll set up manually. I'll connect to my Wi-Fi. Now I do wanna mention that when you are running Succession, as you guys see in that big warning at the top of the application, to not touch anything and do not exit the application, I can't stress how important that is to not leave the application while it is doing this restore. You just have to sit and just wait. Uh, I've used it a couple of times. Let me go ahead and sign into my Apple ID here. I have used Succession a couple of times and one of the times just for the hell of it, I decided to exit the application when it seemed like it wasn't doing anything and I killed it from multitasking. And I basically had to um, restore the root file system with the check rain jailbreak in order to make my iPhone work again. It was really weird and buggy and it took me probably a good 45 minutes to get my iPhone working again. So I can't stress how important it is to not um, exit out of the application whilst doing that. So just be patient. I'm going to finish setting up my iPhone and I'll be back as soon as I'm into it. Okay. And we are logged back into my iPhone here. So if we go into settings, and we go to general and about, as you can see, the iPhone still remains on iOS 14.6 and it is fully restored. There is no check rain, there is no Cydia, there is no succession. This was a full on restore on my iPhone without updating it. Very cool tool to know about in case you ever need to use it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.